It is a new day. Please. We are coming at this with a new Something attitude. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been Everything's impounded gone at the quiet spaceport. In here. I thought my batteries there had goes died. Our way out. Uh, we need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the trade oh, tower. Cold. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close oh, by. Oh, chilly. Let's head to their uh, lobby. Oh. Shall we <laughs> see if we can make... <laughs> Sorry, report. that's my energy drink. Oh. Uh, Slayton Aerospace HQ. Which is out here, so we can't leave Neon yet. Which is a little bit annoying. But it's fine. We'll find a way off this bloody... This waterlogged waste hole that is my home. <laughs> uh, maybe we will buy a penthouse. So, I had a Google. I had a Google. I think if I can figure out the outposts and get some money flowing, we might be onto something with this game. So, I had a Google. A very brief one. I'm going to look into it some more. Ah. Okay, where were we? I was I checking Reddit. With you. They said to make like a mega factory, like have loads of outposts pulling resources into one place. I'm gonna try that. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Uh, I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Uh, I have an exciting business opportunity to discuss with Mr. Slayton. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. You better. You better. Believe me, no. Um, I'm glad you're willing to see things from my point of view. I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. I won't need to take up too much of his time. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. See, just be nice. Oh, just be nice. I think we can make an exception in your case. Good. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the Because I don't want to shoot you in the face. We would have. We definitely would have. I didn't want to. You have Hi. a question, you can chat with the receptionist. You've got a fancy you thing want. on your face. Executive level, off we go. So yeah, I'm gonna try right. and do because you can this get like inter-system transport things Walter. for your outposts, so uh, I'm gonna have a mess around. Taking what's mine, then breaking. Oh, I don't know if this trapped. is good, Walter. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? What? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Sure. Follow her instructions, understood. <laughs> now I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, <laughs> let's go. He kind of played along a bit. Two, he's he, he's cool. He kind of played along. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Unnoticed. Have you met me? One second. I didn't realize that was a window. Doo -doo. Doo. What? You won't get Doo. Duty is on full alert. Doo -doo. No point slipping through unnoticed. Always. No, no, we're not slipping exit. through nothing. Stay close, Walter. Me and Andreja will look after you. Oh, we've got a digi lock. We've got a little digi lock. Uh, that one looks like it belongs here. With maybe a free. Uh, not that free, but that free, mayhaps. No, it does not belong there. It belongs up here. For that inner ring. That goes there, mayhaps. And that goes there. And that goes there. Bish bash bosh. 
Oh, hello. Ooh. Not very good, but we'll take them nonetheless. And we're wait. Are we on 67,000 credits? We've shot up in credits. You know what? I spent all that time complaining about not having any money. All I had to do was do a couple of missions. <laughs> Jeez. Right, come here a minute. Oi. Turn around. We have not yet had a moment to talk about. Oh. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. Get it out of the way, because I need to use her inventory. What do you think that place was? The whole thing made me uncomfortable from the jump. I can imagine. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? Uh, I'm putting my credits on Magic Pixies. All right, fine. You could just say you have no idea. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? Well, yeah, I can make things anti-grav now. Um, <laughs> you mean besides the fantastic new power I now have? No, I'm good. Yes, I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. You are right. Now we have even greater <clears> reasons to press forward, fake is to ever. learn more about what is at work here. Brilliant. Um, where are we? What are we doing? Where do we need to go? Is that just a dead end? Oh. Uh. Pardon me. Infused bandages, a box of tissues. What are you doing with them tissues, you dirty fiend? God, there's like... I, I'm so used to, like, Fallout 4 and just taking everything. I'm like, I don't need all these mugs. Why would I take all these mugs? But I want to take all the mugs. I feel the need to take all the mugs. Oi, come back. Let me through. Oh. Damn it. Oh, Volta's got a bloody... Look at him. He's got, like, an Uzi. Gate control. What is that? Shoot it, please. They're scrambling the protocols. I doubt that'll work again. Ooh. Days. That is terrifying as shit. I know I'm encumbered. You should be the one dying. Ooh. Yes, you need me? Yes. I am happy I need to you. help shop. You bloody better be happy. Uh swap spacesuits. Uh you can have that, why not? I have all my UC Vanguard stuff. We'll get her equipped with some stuff. Uh, take that guard uniform. There we go, that's dropped me down a heap. So can we get Galvanized Ground Crew UC? Let's get her kitted out in the UC stuff and I want to put her in the guard uniform. Oh, there we go. Nice! So, yes. Oh, she looks badass now. I love that you can put them in, like, pretty much anything. I don't know you can on other, on other games, but I don't know. I'm taking both of those. There's, like, a Star-Lord outfit. <laughs> Andresia, I would like to give uh, you this hello. helmet, please. What have you got for me? A lovely helmet. Oh, wait, I can't. 
Oh, I can't. Huh? Oh, there it is. It's in there for some reason. That's weird. Can you still wear it? I guess it's because it's got no damage resistance at all. Right. Let's go. He's over here! Now why would you do that? Oh, it worked! Oh my god. That's pretty sick actually. That's pretty sick. I, again, it's still just a dragon shout. But it's pretty cool. Snitch. <laughs> Snitches get stitches, motherfucker. Um, I really need to get some shotgun shells for that. Oh god, something's just exploded right on my ass. And nothing good. Stamping on the ice. <laughs> Definitely gone the wrong way. Oh, well, we're going back out into Neon. Oh, she said something about catwalks, didn't she? I guess we're gonna go like around the outside of the building. Maybe. This is looking very like Fallout 3. Like, look at those textures. <laughs> They're not good at all. It's feeling like super Fallout 3. There's some weird irony in like a futuristic game. Feeling so much like a game that's set primarily in like the 50s. <laughs> I guess it's got like futuristic aspects to it. It is set technically in the future. Come on. Okay, this is where we went before. Thank you! Bless me. Oh, holy shit. I'm sorry, but I hate that texture. It's really messing with me. It looks so much like a Fallout 3 one. Like that tinge of green. Like the old Fallout 3 kind of filter. Here we go, around here. On me. Let's go. Got God, this gun is good. I just need to edit it so it's not as... It hasn't got as small of a... Magazine. And that... Like, ACOG sight that it's got on is dreadful. Uh. More of them coming. Oh, they stink. Confront Nicholas Stroughton. Slayton, not Stroughton. I keep accidentally using a med pack as well. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. Brilliant. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> cool.
Call off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. We're not, though, are we? Because oh, I could very easily oh, take you and your pals out. I do count a few more guns on my side. Fine. What's a few more bodies? Your confidence is admirable. I look forward to seeing if it's justified. I thought it would be more of a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's fine. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, I really had to cough. Oh, I had to, like, comprehend what the fuck was going on. There was, like, suddenly turrets everywhere and I needed to cough and I was panicking. <laughs> Modified arc welder. Can that be used to mine things? I kind of want it. Give up already. Oh, is that bloody Slayton? Hold up a second. What is that? Oh, look at this pistol. That pistol looks cool. Weapons, what was it called? That, Extended Mag Nova Light. I don't even know if it's any good, but I'm using it. <laughs> We're taking him out with it. expecting all of that. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there, isn't there? We might want to clear out that room a bit. I'm moving. Fire. Go. Go. I never liked him. Maybe if we can I clear out his bodyguards, we can just speak to it. A UC Grey Utility Jumpsuit. I don't know if we've got one of those. Okay, wait. I want to clear around here. Come on. Mate, it's just you left. How much confidence have you got in your son? Because whatever confidence you've got... Oh, you've been killed. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. I didn't even have to do the killing. Idiot. Uh, boosted injector. Let's take that. And a side star. That pistol that I picked up was ass, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm now just realising it. Right, let's go. I'm kind of wondering, like, we're back at the ship, because uh, we've got to bring Walter back here, but I, I was kind of wondering, because we've got, like, 70 grand at the moment, <clears throat> I think we've, like, bang on 70 at this point. Oh, close. I'm, like, 500 off. Is there possibly, like, a, a really cheap ship I can get? that I can use as my base for building the Ebon Hawk because I spend way too much time trying to like steal oh, a ship you. Orders came. Ship's and it just good doesn't to fly really again. seem worth just it. Head. Sure Maybe thing, we'll get quick. it fixed. Um, let me show me I'm what sure you've got you can find some. something you like. What have you got? You've got 62k for the responder. That would not leave me with a lot of bloody money, would it? <laughs> 125 for the Falcon, 126 for the Galileo. The Galileo looks amazing, by the way. The Kefir, which isn't... Didn't we have that? I sw I've picked that up before. Like, in a random thing, I've picked up the Kefir before. And then the Warhorse at 126. So I'm going to have to go to a different ship technician and see if we can pick up a new ship. Also, I think me adding sections onto the Razor Leaf has made it way too heavy. I think I need to add like more engines onto it. I saw a thing, it was a tip thing. Um, I'll do it now. I saw a tip that said, the more cargo 
means, and like the more weight means the more go on. engines we'll release you have the lots to once add. You're in. Okay, no problem. So let me go on to here real quick. Let me go into ship builder. Let me go... No, ship builder. Come on now, don't be playing silly buggers. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to... Oh, maybe like one of these small ones. Like if we go for that, the white dwarf 1020 and we get like two of them. And we can stick them to the side there. I think so. I think so. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> the sudden panic. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do there. Uh, maybe we can also add something like shield related. We've got errors now. What are the errors? What's wrong? Too much power for engines. Reduce the engine count. Ship has too few landing. Too m Wait, what? Ship is too heavy to grab jump. So me adding these has now made it too heavy. Jeez. So I can't add either of those. Um Okay, can we get some that are a little a little lighter? Uh how do I see like the weight of it? It doesn't really say, does it? Should we go for like some of these? Shall we see if we can put like this on the side? Oh, I can't, it's not gonna let me. Right, what if I pull that up there? Up Can we slot that on the side, perhaps? No? What is it colliding with? Oh, both of them. Oh. What is this? That's an engine as well. So, let's pull that off. <laughs> We're just pulling apart the entire ship. Wait. That's an Amun 1, which does engine thrust of 5,000. Oh, no. Just don't do that. So, can we get a big boy that sits on top? Engine thrust of 12k. Can we just swap out some of these? And, like... Say we put that there. We put, like... Um... Maybe not the 12k one. But, like, we were looking at these mini ones. Like, we put that there. Oh. And we flip that and we put it there. That can go beneath it. And that can go beneath it. No, because look, now it's got more fucking errors. Can we delete that? Can we delete that? And we're still excess engine power. <laughs> okay, let's just undo and we'll go back to what we were. Never mind, never mind. I don't understand ships right now. It doesn't matter. Whatever, cancel modification, whatever. I tried. I'll try again later. I'll try again later. We'll figure it out as we go along. I'll just have to avoid getting into any firefights with this thing. Because I've been, I've been getting into firefights and I move too slowly. I can't get out of the way of anything. Oh yeah, look, I'm so back heavy. I need more landing gear. I think I'm, I'm going to have to just get rid of some of the inside sections because I've also realized that like I don't really want to store things Always on my ship I don't really care Return too much to about ship. like the armories and things like I purely would rather have like a battleship <laughs> with a lot of cargo space I guess so I'll make some modifications and we'll chop some bits out of the razor leaf we'll squash it back down to how it was previous make it a little bit more maneuverable because it is Gold very hefty right now I told oh. myself I. Uh, that was reality, you witness, Walter. Not all the C. Uh, we're not all CEOs. I'm aware of the terrible things that happen in the streets. But I thought, if money and power can't afford you to be merciful, what good is it? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. 
I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. You're welcome. Take off from Neon. Da, 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 da. Dust off complete. <clears throat> Black. We are so back heavy, that's insane. I'm surprised it's even standing, to be fair. Because it's a lot going on. And then I also saw something mentioned about. Whoa. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. That's a vertical ship. We don't mean you any harm, whoever the hell Helix is. You say that now, but your kind is not ready for the artifacts. Well, they're There's gonna be like, Prophean ancient types, are they? Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Um, at least tell us about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. Are they like AI? How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you <clears throat> is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. We need to well, grab jump the hell out of here. I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Uh. Yeah, full evasive maneuvers. <laughs> we'll get through this. Hope. Oh my days. Get away. Get away. He's left 30. Get away. Wait, I need to grab jump out of here. How do I get out? Uh ba 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 Jump. Jump to Alpha Centauri. Go, go, go. Jump! <laughs> Holy shit. I did not like that at all. Smooth job. You? I've never heard of these stuff. Welcome to UC Space. Speculation Maintain your current made. course while we scan your ship's cargo. We need to regroup at the lodge immediately. Scan complete. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Okay, let's go. Let's we'll speak to Noel. Uh, the lodge. Oh, I did not like that at all. That was uh, a little bit worrying. I'm going to hazard a guess. They're playing it off like they're alien. I reckon they're probably going to be robot. Uh. Pardon me. Because we've not seen any aliens yet. It's purely just humans everywhere. And I think it's going to remain like that because Agreed. I don't think we Bethesda know how to design aliens without them looking like something from Elder Scrolls. So, I reckon it's just going to be robots. They're going to be like robot Some AI guys. Me to think about what goes on here. Right under the and United the Colonies notes. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Uh, I need you to look into the data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring like the data now. over now. <laughs> yeah. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we handle. 
playing with their parents' things. They're gonna be like what do humanoid know? though, they're any not offshoot gonna groups go by that name. Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. Why? We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? I mean, I guess. So, we have a lot of theories, but he's got a concrete. fair point. I hadn't actually considered it being like a religious and willing thing. willing to take them by force. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Matteo. It's merit. They acted like they were judging us. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. I have no idea what the hell that meant. Boom. 6,500 credits. We've got to speak to oh, stuff on my mind. When you have time. Have the time. As much as I love you, I wouldn't mind if you ate Spend so much time looking at scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Uh, give me any data on the artifacts you have. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Okay, so we're going to Orberum, which I feel like we've been to. We've been to an Orberum, have we not? Captain Oliver, a hey, oh. of assistance on your ship. You know what, Vasco? You know what? I think you can, pal. I think we're going to take Vasco with us. Because we've not had him around for a while. And I am missing my Vasco. Let's get you on the razor leaf, me old pal. Me old cobber. Right. Um, since we've wrapped that up, I'm going to go fix the laser... The laser. <laughs> I don't know, it's a laser reef. I'm going to go fix the razor leaf and squash it back down to what it's supposed to be. Um, remove like the armory and whatever. We'll keep the extra storage and stuff, but I'm just going to squash it back down so it's a little bit more agile and can maneuver around. Then I'm going to start working on the outpost stuff again. So I was looking at when I when I was looking at the uh, the outpost thing, um, and we spoke in my comments on the last video about earning money from it. I have to. Pull in the resources, so pull in iron, uh, aluminium, all that kind of stuff, to then craft items and sell those items. So that's what I need to work on. I need to get aluminium set up in the Cheyenne system, which is where my other outpost is, if we take a look real quick. So, uh, one thing I didn't even realise was... So, like, for example, in Seoul... It's got that little logo, and that means there's an outpost. I've got two over in Seoul. I need to go get rid of one. Because it was an experimental one that I just threw down. But if we look in Cheyenne, we go over here. So I've got two outposts. I've got one on Anfarum, and I've got one on Kodos. The one on Kodos is my main one. I've got like a bunch of iron collection, and I've got some other collection on there. I can't remember which one it is. Um, and then I've got Anfarum, which is going to be uh, uh, aluminium and helium. So if I can get materials together to build some extractors and then a transport ship to get everything from here onto Kodos, that would be great. I also need to find somewhere within this system to channel everything. 
into like one big factory area and I need to explore the rest of these uh, planets and stuff uh, because I want so for example we could go to Skink or we could go to Buran and find out what they've got on them and if they've got other materials and things that we need we can build more little outposts I think I've got four remaining because I've already got four out so if I go get my moon <laughs> if I go get my moon base and I go get my whatever else I've got in the solar system and I pull them back over here I can set up a bunch of outposts in this one system in the Cheyenne system and just harvest it for resources and we can try and figure out like a place to build like a mega factory to channel it all into one place I'm gonna give it a Google a YouTube and have a panda and figure out if there's any preferred planets for me to do this on and if I have to start entirely fresh, I will start entirely fresh and rip everything off of Kodos and Anfarum and go into another system and do it. But I'm going to work on that off camera. That's what I'm going to be doing today while I edit videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.